Hey, welcome back to Shane's Main Shop. Today we're at the John Deere 400 again. And I think uh, you probably saw the video of us putting the blade on. That's all on. Now I'm actually going to show you how to remove the three point or how to remove the greater blade from the three point hitch because we got the part coming, hopefully, that's going to work and I can hook up the rotor tool to it. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove the three point hitch. It's pretty uh, basic. Basically, we got it backed up here. And we set the rig down. Now we got to pull this pin, and this happens to be a big old bolt. Um, I'll have to get a pin for that so we don't have to unscrew this whole thing in the future. And then we have these pins down here. There's one on this side with a cotter pin, and one on that side. And that is pretty much it. And uh, you might have to just support the front of the um, box grater under those uh, forks a little bit. Probably not. It'll probably just sit there, no problem. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's it. So we're going to go ahead and remove this bolt so uh not so you can get this bolt out and then pull those pins uh, i won't bore you because that might take me a bit i sprayed some uh, wd-40 on it uh, but we'll get this done real quick all right so i put this in here so it wouldn't turn while i was loosening up the nut but now it's nice and loose so we're gonna go ahead and take that off now that shouldn't be too hard to get out of there nope okay that thing's sitting right a little washer on here i want to save I will find a proper pin for this too because it'd be a lot easier than messing with this thing. Okay. And we'll just get that out of the way in a minute. Sometimes it's a hard to get a hold of. Get something behind it like this and pop it out just like that. And this pin will come up. And that's all disconnected. And we just gotta repeat that process on that pin. See, this is disconnected. This one's disconnected. And that one, that's the three points of a three point hitch. All we have to do now is pull the tractor forward. Uh, this will just stay behind. Uh, we're not gonna do that yet, but that's how you disconnect it. And then you would repeat that process when you back up to another implement. Um, uh, we'll, we'll be doing that in just a minute, hopefully. Okay, now I'm going to hopefully uh, show you, which I've never had this on before, but uh, how to put the transfer case on the John Deere 400. So uh, this long shaft has to slip underneath the tractor, and then the transfer case mounts to the back, and then the short shaft would mount to your implement in the back. Uh, in today's case, it's going to be a rototiller. Now the piece I'm waiting for is actually the piece that goes in here. It's the slip joint. Uh, that goes here and then to the shaft underneath the uh, it hooks to the shaft under here. Hopefully, you can see that right there. Probably center screen. Um, so, I don't have that piece yet. Hopefully, it's coming today. Uh, there is two little spots that uh, that, that thing sits into, it sits, should sit right on these here. And then there's a spot up higher that those pins lock into. So, yeah, there's holes right there that those upper pins lock into. And I'll show you that when we get a little bit closer. So, I don't know if you can see. I'm going to slide that <coughs> shaft underneath here. And then these are going to sit right up on that. And we'll have to hook this up out of the way temporarily here. Or pull a pin on it and put it in afterwards. That might be easier. Oh, I got it. I got it. I think I got it. Oh boy. That bugger is heavy. Now, okay, she's locked in there. Now let me just show you. I'm going to talk about those pins. That little bugger is heavy for the size of it. Hopefully you can see that pin, that pin right there. You can see it's caught. I'm gonna tip it. And then if I wiggle it around, it should lock in. I couldn't show that. I just only have one hand, but you can see now that that pin is to the right side of that slot and this, the head of it is right flush pretty much. So that pin is slid in place and this transfer case now is locked in place. And then this will hook up to the uh, rototiller or whatever else you have going on back here. Uh, but for us, it's going to be the rototiller. I got that hooked up temporarily so it's not dragging, of course. And like I said, that's not going to spin. It has to be hooked to the motor. So that's just going to sit there. 
And of course I got this, this back in place. And we're just gonna go ahead and head over to the rotor filler and hook it up. So I'm backed up here and I just noticed, which is actually a good thing, this already has uh, the shaft, the bar on here so I can take this one off. This one's probably already set to the, the right angle so we'll just leave it there. And I noticed it's already got pins here so I don't have to use the other ones. I can put those back in the box uh, grater. So, uh, and they have them in the middle so we're just gonna go ahead and repeat that. And uh, hopefully you can see. Okay, one thing to note is that square stock in there is actually not square stock it's slightly rectangle so we had to turn this and then it slid right in now if we can get one of these this one's going to find out it's just not quite should have a hammer out here there you go okay all right so you can see that's a little bit of a challenge this thing's it's fairly heavy uh, so now we got to go ahead and get this second one, but we can, once we get one in, it's not so bad. Here we go. Okay, that one's in. Should be a little bit of a challenge. Uh, you want to do this, I'll lift up on the uh, snowblower, road until I mean. Yep. It's got to go right here. Oh, through the side here. Yeah, yep. it probably goes this way. It'd be easier to do the pin though. It's how it was. All right, so as I said, we've never had this thing on before. And uh, we just realized, I mean, I've, I've done three-point hitches before, but I just figured this was set up correctly. Uh, this is actually uh, not uh, long enough, for real, it's too short. What's happening is it's bottoming out the shaft in here and forcing this up against the transfer case really hard, which uh, when I noticed that, uh, I can't really do it right now because I got a temporary pin in there. This, the bearing on the transfer case is all afloat, it's all wore out and if they had this pulled so tight that this thing was all bottomed out, pushing uh, pressure on that, then that certainly would cause that issue. So uh, I just got a temporary pin to hold it from turning. And I'm going to go ahead and put a pipe wrench on this and try to uh, get a little more length so we can get that actual pin in and loosen it up. So it's pretty close to where it needs to be, but it is, uh, it is going to need some fine tuning before we're done. Uh, but I've uh, loosened this up now, and you can see now just a little bit of moving around i can get this to line up without really any trouble at all just gotta wiggle it back and forth and slide it in so that was the problem they had this thing cranked so tight it was putting pressure on the shaft itself down here which is definitely not good so we'll probably loosen this up a little bit more yeah they had that four strip and there you can see i've loosened it up some so now I have a little bit of play, but the play now, unfortunately, is in the in the bearings up here, not in the shaft where it should have been out here. So anyway, it is what it is. I'm gonna go ahead and put the cotter pin on this thing and lift it up and move the tractor. Now, again, the snowblower is not gonna, uh, I keep saying snowblower. It's just good, I really want a snowblower for this thing and I don't have one. This rototiller is not gonna rototiller right now because we're still missing that one part. To hook up the front drive shaft you can see it i uh, not drive shaft but the pto shaft uh you can see i just have it hanging there so uh, let me just get the cotter pin in this thing and get this tractor back over to the um garage where it belongs I don't know how long that video is going to be because I started out taking off the box grater, putting on that transfer case, and then really manhandling the uh, rototiller. So, uh, but that's pretty much all there is to it. Now, it obviously is a lot. There's a lot to it, and it can be a pain in the butt, especially where this one's been sitting around for many years. Like right now, we're working on this uh, flat back here. It should just kind of flap nice and freely, but it's pretty well uh, rusted. So I sprayed some stuff on that. Um, but uh, yeah, this is just a little bit more of the John Deere 400 and hopefully that part comes in today and I might have that running 
before the week is over. Now, unfortunately, I got significant plans the rest of the week, so I'm not sure if I'll get back to this, but I hope to. Uh, but there it is. John Deere 400, almost ready to rototill the garden. Hey, thanks for swinging by Shane's main shop. Don't forget to also swing over to Ben's channel, The Art of Doing, where he has also a variety of YouTube videos, all kinds of different topics. See if there's something you like over there. You never know. He's just passed the year on YouTube a couple months ago and is looking to hit that 1,000 subscriber mark. He's a little over halfway there, I think. So let's see if we can help him out. So that is The Art of Doing. Meanwhile, this is Shane's Main Shop. Thanks for swinging by. Have a great day, and we'll see you in the next video.